Hey guys, today we are going to, first of all, we're going to do longer videos today, but we might not do as many. Maybe we'll do a longer video and then a spoiler, you know, like spoil some magic cards when it's come out. I will have my Patreon stuff up as well. Today I'm going to talk about the five top cheats in Magic the Gathering. And I call it, I guess the five most common cheats would be uh, most appropriate. First of all, number one, and this happens all the time, always be on the lookout for this, when your opponent draws extra cards. Now, drawing extra cards like Alex Pacini or someone is relatively easy to do by mistake, but it also can be intentionally. So when that person really needs to like, and especially at Friday Night Magic where there's, at my Friday Night Magic, there's no judges, people are not paying attention. Uh, it would probably be really easy to draw an extra card if you really wanted to. Um, you know, people are talking to each other. I, I talk to my friend across the, you know, for trade. I sometimes, and this is bad, I sometimes do trades while I play, and I know that's not uh, a good idea in any, but sometimes like they need a card to play the deck that night, and I'm already in round one. So that type of player, uh, that type of cheat does happen quite a bit where a person draws extra cards and it's not noticed. And a lot of times people do not, you know, write down how many cards in hand, and that's the way to solve this problem. And I try to offer some solutions is to say, oh, how many cards in hand do you have? Uh, how many are in your graveyard, and then you can do simple math and figure out, hey, is that the right amount? Now, the second type of cheat that happens a lot is when an opponent looks at like this, essentially, I call it the scry cheat, um, where uh, this happened a lot when you had that hawk. What's that hawk? Someone leave in the comment below. It was like, it was a hawk, and then it had a squatting hawk. Hawk, that's the hawk. And a lot of times, magic players, so if you don't know what that card does, that card actually, uh, when it comes to play, you can look for your deck for the remaining hawk. So normally you play for two, you get a one more flyer, and then you get you draw three cards, you get to search your library for three cards, uh, all of them being the hawk. Now, what the cheat was, and this was a very, very, and this can work for scry, any of that type of stuff, is when someone plays the hawk, they can shuffle the deck and they can organize in a way, and this has all been documented, and this is, Shuffle gate did happen, it is a deal. But then I always kind of noticed that the second time the person plays a hawk, they look at their deck and what when they, they search their library again, and then they shuffle the deck again. And it's like, why would you do that? Because you don't you know you don't have any hawks left to search. And it's because they stack their decks or they're looking at the decks and making sure that the deck, a lot of times when people hand a deck, I always say, shuffle your opponent's deck. Uh, do not allow them to manipulate the deck in any way. Um, and the hawk is, I mean, the hawk worked this way. There's no reason for you to like look through your library and then like, you can kind of see your organizing and stuff like that. That's, in my opinion, a little suspect behavior. And it's, you know, it's come out that they were cheating and things of that nature with this particular card. Now, the next one I, uh, ha is a very interesting cheat where um, you're trying to, I don't know if it's a cheat, but you're trying to get your opponent on tilt by calling a judge or saying, hey, you, you know, being very mean and abrasive. Uh, and this sometimes works on new players because imagine you're at a pre-release and this happens every single pre-release and you get a judge called on you. You feel like you did something wrong, although you may not have. And then you get a little pressure, people coming in, maybe you're not that, uh, maybe you're shy and then people are surrounding you. And that's not great. Um, that's not a great feeling to have, is to have additional pressure on that. Um, you, you really, you do have run into this issue where people are trying to tilt, um, you know, tilt someone. Number four, playing extra lands. Uh, this is again, the Alex Bracini to explore, very famous um, magic cheat. Uh, people do play extra lands. Sometimes you play the land in the beginning of your turn. And then sometimes you forget, and then you play the land the next turn, and you got you play the extra land, and that's understandable. Even at the pro level, this mistake happens quite frequently. I would say once a pro tour, um, or once every few pro tours, it does happen to a bigger name. Uh, but you also can cheat, like Alex Bracini, and you know exactly what you're doing because you can have an excuse ready for it. Two explorers, and then that's why you have like eight billion land, right? So the land cheat is something that, you know, you play land at the beginning of the turn, and you play land at the end of the turn. At Friday Night Magic, I wouldn't notice it most times, um, but again, I'm very casual. 
So, and the last cheat, uh, here's a cheat that really annoys me when you have, um, someone has a friend and they just keep yapping away and they're telling that person what to do and stuff. And the friend is like a good magic player and then they're combining brains to go against you. And I don't like it. I don't, first of all, I think that's not acceptable behavior. I think that's demeaning to your opponent. Uh, if you bring your friend in and you're just chatting and your friend's telling what to do because your friend can easily walk around, see your hand and then come back with information. And I feel like that happens more times than not when a friend first doesn't give advice, they walk around, you know, they're done their game, they're walking around, they look at your deck, then they start talking to that dude, um, their friend and obviously they've seen your hand and that's, you know, depending on what deck you're playing, that could be vastly important. Um, so those are the five types of cheaters, uh, most common cheats that happen in Magic the Gathering. <laughs> it is late. Um, so if you guys have other cheats and other things, um, let me know in the all other cheats you've seen and how to prevent them. Hopefully you have a little story or you can say a story would be good too. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Bye guys.